essentially the strike all takes away every objection that the Senate has had um, to the House bill throughout this entire session. Uh, they have stated repeatedly that they, they refuse to go up uh, to, re to provide any replacement income. And so which, what that means is they refuse to go up at all on the general sales tax. So we've left this general sales tax at 7%. Um, correspondingly, we're not able to provide as large of an income tax cut initially. And so we've reduced our income tax cut from the first 40,000 of income to 25,000. It would be 50,000 for a married couple. We pay, we'll no longer pay income tax in the first year of the plan. Uh, the Senate has also complained that the House bill, uh, the growth triggers in the House bill were not where they should be. They, they claim historical um, inflation was at 1.6%, so we've moved our number uh, on the growth triggers from 1.5% to 1.6 to match historical growth. Um, and we've also put a cap on the amount of money that can be spent or used to buy down the, uh, the income tax, essentially increase the, the exemptions. Uh, that's $150 million. So essentially, each year going forward, it would be um, the first 1.6% of growth would go toward the state budget. Uh, and the anything over and above 1.6% with a cap of $150 million would go toward reducing the uh, personal exemptions for income tax purposes the following tax year. Um, we have also included a, a grocery tax reduction from the current 7% down to 4%. That will take effect automatically at a quarter percent per year until it reaches 4%. Uh, then we have also included $500 million in capital expense money into the budget stabilization fund to be there for, to sit there for three years and to be used uh, solely for any, uh, as the Senate uh, claims, any, any uh, budget needs that come up as this initial cut is enacted. Okay, at, at that such time, that $500 million, which I would add is over and above the full rainy day fund uh, that the state has. Uh, but at the end of that three years, that $500 million would go back uh, to the uh, capital expense fund to be used for other needs of the state. Um, that said, the, one of the objections the Senate had is they have refused to um, uh, go along with, or said they would refuse to go along with the House's um, cut on car tags. As you recall, the House bill contained a 50% reduction in car tags for every person in the state that purchases a car tag. The Senate refuses to go along with that. They, they state that it would be the state subsidizing counties. And so necessarily, although it was highly popular and, and supported um, in the House, that had to be removed uh, to have a responsible income tax elimination bill. So that kind of hits the high point.